visiting Monas this morning. Uh, next to me is Mr. Carlitz. He's the principal at Monas. Mr. Carlitz, uh, you must say to me, you must welcome me, but welcome to the interview. And you've got some exciting news to share. Well, yes, thank you for your invitation and welcome. Uh, this is for us by Monas a very good forum to be able to be in our 100 year viering of the year 2021 from the LAAR school and then specifically the LAAR school International Rugby Festival. Uh, this is for us a good year with many things in the plan. And these, these rugby festivals are absolutely part of our planning to make it an absolute wonderful 100th year of Monas. Our uh, history is van die 100 jaar wat ons rugby speel. En ons wil graag daar die boodskap uitdra daar buite en vir die mense wys hoe trots is ons. Nie net op ons school nie, maar ook op ons rugby prestaties. Uh, daar waar ons die voorig het om ons rugby te kan bedrijf tot voordeel van jong seens. And to give them the opportunity to go out in the world and telling people that they come from Monas. So baie dankie vir die geleentheid. A successful rugby program is a very great verkooppunt by every school. And Monas, as you said, is a genuine history on the rugby field. It's certainly one of the most successful of all schools in South Africa. And not in the world. Um, you have a plan to come back to that type of thing. All the more time is placed on academy. Um, it's important to keep the history and the future of the the rugby player is still very important at Monas? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, ons is a secondary school, but academia is our primary bedrijf. But by ons buiten meers, fill ons dit aan by die academia om gebalanceerde leerders, seens en dochters die wereld in te steep. So nie, academia bly ons prioriteit, ons is daarom onder die top academische skole ook, maar ons rugby, le ons na in die hart, uh, soos die ander sporte, soos die kultu kulturele uh, activiteite. Maar volgende jaar met die hier die project wat jylle vir ons help drijf en wat ons die voorig het om te kan aanbied. That we're going to be the hosts for these two tournaments. That will be something special to us. And we want to convey that message out there internationally. That Monas are willing to do everything to accommodate our learners and learners from outside public, parents, you name it, to come and share our pride, history, and uh, our wonderful traditions we've got at this school. Um, the previous two World School Festivals, we don't call it World School Festival anymore because you guys and us decided that we want to give the money or the profit must go back to the schools. That's, that's, that's the um, criteria we use at the uh, school's trust that the funds must go back to the school. So we're actually doing a brand new thing, but also concentrating on what was successful previously. Uh, are there any new stuff that you're going to try, or we? Well, I think this is one of the positive things around here, the project, wat, and I must say thank you for what the initiative of the day has led, and for all the borgers and all the people who are in dat dit gaan nie die skole noodwendig een arm en een been kos om deel te wees van hierdie feestelike activiteite, hierdie toernooie nie. En ek dink dit maak een groot verskil. Want ons weet, ons leef in een tyd waar allemaal maar die cente omdraai, waar skole allemaal maar zwaar trek, en as jy hierdie geleentede kan bied en jy kan sê daar is een voordeel vir die skole en die gemeenskappe hierin, dink ek is dit een groe ding. Iets speciaals van ons kant af, ja, ek dink dit is bykie vroeg om dat uit te brei, maar ons beplan om een groot program uh, daar buiten te stel vir die mens om aan deel te neem. Nie net raak binnen, ons gaan allemaal accommodeer met verskye activiteite en het vir hulle lekker maak. We want the people visiting us in Krugersdorp at Monas to enjoy it and maybe to want to come back again. Is he going to go all the way? He's still going. Just an Isaac front and hold you. Good stepping for Twala. There's the opening try. Sweeping right, down the field.
Ons volgende gast is meneer Bart Skoeman, hy is die uh, voorzitter van die Zuid-Afrikaanse Skole Trust. Um, Bart, welkom. Dankie Karl, sien uit na die, die, die pad en die beplanning wat voorle. Ik um, denk ons het een paar uh, exciting aankondigings wat, uh, wat wacht. Hoe kom je betrokken bij Mona's onderste verjaarsdag? Wat, wat, sy, wat sy doel daar achter vir die trust? Ja, dat net uh, van een uh, achtergrond oor die, die Nationale Skole Trust um, is eigenlijk geboren uit uh, onder andere jouw initiatief kal um, van de Ragasse kant af, uh, wat die loodsing van een nieuwe Nationale Skole reeks uh, as, as, as doel het, um, uh, wat ook nog in die toekomst le. En wat mij opgewonden maakt is uit die aard van die saak, die feit dat ons nou die... Um, die internationale skole toernooi, oor die selfde boeg kan gooi. Uh, die trust het ten doel om uh, skole rugby in Zuid-Afrika te dien. Um, en uh, sonder om in de detail daar uh, te verval, um, gaan die, die, uh, die dien van skole rugby in Zuid-Afrika oor die verbreding van die basis van skole rugby, uh, op africhtingsvlak, sowel as geleentere vir skoolkinders, so dit is definitief niet ten doel om elitisme te bevorder nie, maar meer een uh, kwestie van om die topskole in Zuid-Afrika te gebruik om een platform te skep voor ontwikkeling en voor uitgang van skole rugby in Zuid-Afrika. Ons allemaal weer dat contractmodellen uh, op uh, professionele vlak op hierdie stadium uh, baie verander uh, en uh, dit is voor ons belangrijk om zeker te maken dat ons kinders geleend hier op, uh, op andere vlakken ook krijgen. Ons baseer die, 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 die onderste verjaarsdag van Monas Baie op die World School Festivals en daai goeders. Wat is die grootste verschil op die klim wat jullie leven? Waar leven jullie die grootste klim wat baie duidelijk verschil van die World School Festivals organiseerd is? Call for the benefit of our, um, uh, our viewers um, uh, abroad as well, because um, it, uh, it it is affecting um, the international school side um, to a large extent. Is that um, we still want to keep alive the fact that we have a strong competition format between the best schools in South Africa versus the best possible schools that we can get from abroad, from especially our rugby tradition, uh, traditional strong countries, um, from the UK, from, from New Zealand, etc. Um, so to match up the top schools places the focus uh, on, on, on a top tournament, that something that I think South Africa has been the front runners with um, in the past couple of years. Um, and we also sport the strongest schoolboy competition in the world. Uh, therefore, for us, important to give the boys an opportunity at this, uh, at, uh, at this level and at the higher stage. So we, um, uh, we really also think with regards to something, a new initiative that's being added, uh, uh, the fact that we will have a primary school tournament also with the international flavor would extend um, the, the rugby program in that direction as well. Um, and eventually, we hope to think in a couple of years from now, we will have involvement of schoolboy rugby at uh, even more levels than this. So it's really all about creating new opportunities for our boys um, in, in a very difficult environment that we find our industry in. Um, uh, but uh, we, we take responsibility for the fact that we have uh, always had a passion and a love for, for schoolboy sport and schoolboy rugby specifically. Um, and with the drive and the passion from your side, um, uh, it's a privilege to be involved with that and really um, take the lead now and, and make this something special and big. You changed the financial structure or model of this competition also. Can you explain? Yes, I think um, the, the, the great um, drive has always been that the school's exposure and uh, whatever income is created from the tournament, um, different from what it probably was in the past, is that it is schoolboy rugby for the sake of the schools, 
and the players of, uh, of these schools. So therefore, we see that um, with regard to the international tournament, the tournament, as with the national school series, is owned by the schools. Um, therefore, in the trust that has been formed, um, uh, will administer the fact that um, uh, there is no um, uh, principle of making money out of this for external purposes, but um, providing it and, and, and really promoting school boy uh, rugby in that sense. Therefore, with regards to the, the, the international tournament, um, and as it would be in the future as well, the host school will benefit um, uh, from 50% uh, from of the income out of the tournament and 50% of the, the income uh, uh, would go into the trust for future use and future purposes um, so that we do not chase um, uh, making a lot of money out of the tournament more than making sure that we pay the bills and we put out the best world-class tournament that we can out there. Nou ja, dit was meneer Bart Skoeman, voorzitter van die ESA Skoele Trust. Um, Bart, baie dankie vir jou keie. En ons wens julle alle voorspoed toe met die relings. Ons volgende gast is meneer Tjaart van der Wald. Hy is die hoof van rugby hier by Monas en obviously gaan hy die voorloper wees van die relingscomitee en die toernooi en die type van dinge. Tjaard, weer eens, ek moet vir jou sê welkom, maar eindelijk moet jy vir my sê welkom. Um, ja, baie dankie, Karl, vir die geleentheid, ja, en jy weet, ons is het altyd welkom, so by Monas. Ja, ons sien uit na hierdie, na, eerstens na ons 100 jaar, wat, wat nou vir ons voorleid, dit is een groot ding vir, vir ons hier so by Monas en vir al die rakpi. En um, om saam met jylle handen te vat en so toernooi te kan aanbied, is, is vir ons een voorrecht en ons sien rarig uit daarna. Tjaard, jylle, jylle verander die, die, amper sê, die mold van hoe die toernooi aangebied word en daar goed is. Jou toernooi word basis in twee dele opgedeel, kan jy vir ons verduidelik? Ja, kom, ons gaan een laarskool, die laarskole gaan ook speel en dan uh, ons gaan laarskole van recht oor, recht oor die land gaan ons nooi. Ons gaan kyk na die top laarskole wat constant oor die afgelopen paar jare goed gedoen het, gaan ons aan die uitnodiging stuur en saam met dit um, gaan ook een paar laarskole van ons sê gaan kom en dan gaan hulle op een uitloopbasis gaan hulle dan een toernooi speel, so hulle gaan begin, ons gaan maar seker maar looitjies trek, en dan acht wedstrijden opzet, en dan gaan die wenners doorgaan, totdat ons op die ouwe die avond voordat die uh, oorskole toernooi afskop, gaan ons dan een finaal speel tussen die twee laarskoolspanne, maar al die spanne gaan nog steeds diezelfde selfde veelheid wedstrijden speel, dit gaan maar wees waar jy soos, is dit van soos die sevens toernooi, waar jy dan gaan speel vir 15 en 16 gaan ook tegen mekaar speel, so dit gaan, uh, gaan, een, lek, gaan een lekke manier wees om, om ons 100 jaar feest af te skop, en ons is baie opgewonde daardoor. Ja, en ek kan nie dink, ek sit nou en ek probeer dink, daar is nie een ander paas toernooi vir laarskoele nie, so jy het hemel iets niets wat jy vir laarskoele bied. Dan die hoorskoele wijk ons ook een bykie af van, van wat met die World School Festivals gebeur het, uh, jylle concentreer meer op om die topskoele hier te kry, as om gecombineerde spanne te kry. Ja, ek, uh, dit, is, dit is maar die groe ding, ek dink al was... Die, die World Schools was een was wonderlijke toernooi geweest en on, ons by Monument is geëerd om nog elke keer deel daarvan te kon gewees het, die jaar er nou op is nie gebeur nie met die, met die, met die story met die COVID, maar um, ja, ons, ons, ons wil kyk dat ons topspanne van ons sê afkry en gelukkig ouwens so Sean met, met, met sy, sy connections, as ek so kan stel en ouwens wat weet, gaan so vir die standaard van die internationale spanne, gaan rechtig topgehalte wees, ons gaan hier die Zuid-Afrikaanse spanne gaan nie verlede wie, hoe kan ek sê, partij was, het, was die games nou redelijk makkelijk geweest, maar ek denk nie, dit gaan nie geval wees, en ek denk ons gaan bond staan hierdie keer vir die, vir die oorseese spanne, en dan, ja, ons is in die proces om die 10 Zuid-Afrikaanse skole ook te finaliseer, en zodra ons dit gedoen het, dan gaan ons gaan, en ons gaan mooi kyk, en ons gaan lekker drie dae van kracht in kracht, hier op die ras van Rooien sien. Um, die laarskole, wat er datums gaan hulle speel? Hulle gaan die 29ste maart begin en dan gaan hulle vir, denk ek, vier dae wat hulle dan gaan bezig wees en dan direct daarna, die donderdag, dan begin die oorskole toernooi en hy maak dan die maandag klaar. So, ek neem aan ons, die, die, die oorskole gaan ons speel die donderdag, die zaterdag en die maandag. Um, hoeveel wedstrijden gaan elke school speel? Elke school gaan twee wedstrijden speel. Uh, van die skole gaan dan die op die donderdag speel en die ander gaan op die zaterdag speel en dan gaan al die skole, gaan dan op die maandag, gaan hulle dan... Uh, 
ja, hulle, hulle laatste wedstrijd speel. So, dat is maar basis die formaat waar ons gekyk het. Dan een vraag wat jy nou nou gesê het, jy gaan nie antwoord nie. Is, jylle, is, is Mona's recht vir die challenge vir, vir 2021 en specifiek bedoelende na jou eerste span? Ja, ek nog weet, jy gaan daar een vraag, maar ja, ons is, ons is bezig. Ek denk, ons het een ons, ons, ons goeie, goeie groepe recht die die jare gehad en is maar seker my werk om te sorg dat die man nie ordentlik afgerig kan word, zodat so ons maar kan kers was hou by die, by die ander skole. So ek is opgewonde oor Mona's span vir, vir, vir ons EUV's jaar. Um, daar gaan baie harde werk in om hulle recht te kry, soos by, maar by al die skole, en ek sien net na die uitdaging, ek dink, uh, saam met die 100 jaar kom bykie ekstra druk, as ons kyk na al die skole wat nou al dier hulle 100 of 150 jare gegaan het, weet, daar word maar van, vir al die old boys en die, en die mense wat, wat, wat baie trots is op die school, is daar uit druk om, om weet, baie goed te presteer in die 100 jaar, so ons is bewust daarvan en ons maak ons planne, maar ja, dis, dis maar waar gaan stop, nie, ek nie veel meer as dit vir ons sê, Ja, ek kan ook nie veel meer sê, want ek, 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 het, ek het die inkoopingslijst van Mona's gesien en hy is betrekkelijk lang. Um, met Sjaard, baie dankie, laat ons, laat ons volgende jaar die wele kom keir. Ek denk het gaan een ongelooflike geleentheid wees, soos meneer Karl het vroeger gesê het, um, jylle tradities en jylle geschiedenis op die rekby veld is, is, is werkelijk van die topskole in die wereld. En ons hoop raarig jylle, jylle krijg dit recht om jullie ding ordentlik te doen en uit te voer. My next guest, if I may, Sean, I can call you the father of the International Schools Challenge and whatever name you want to name it. Um, uh, you started the idea of uh, International Schools Tournament in South Africa. When and why? Oh, good morning, Carl. Thanks for the opportunity. I think um, to start off with, it's definitely something that was originated and born out of Paul Boys High. It was a Boys High concept and 2014, remember chatting with everybody about um, celebrating Boys High's 150-year um, sort of marker and we decided to have a schools tournament that would carry the legacy and carry with it everything that's special about school war rugby and that's where the World Schools Festival was born. You're now based in Joburg, and when we approach you to come and help with the organizing of the committee, uh, I think it didn't take one second for you to say you're more than willing to do so. Uh, why are you uh, Currently, you're at the Lions as their defense coach for the Super Rugby team. Why still involved with school rugby? Why the willingness? Yeah, I must say, I think it's a pathway for every single coach. Uh, school rugby will always be special to me. Um, was part of it for over 20 years and it became something that's that's sort of deeply ingrained in who I am and where I earn my straps and and everything that I love about the game was born at schoolboy level so um, when I heard that there was an opportunity and you, and you asked if I could just give some advice it's just awesome to be part of it and I think um, as I said earlier today the thing that I'm most looking forward to is just putting my little bra and my chair next to the field and just watching the boys play. We'll make sure there's a bra and and some meat on your grill also, um, Sean. Yeah, it's 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 in a difficult time to convince the overseas schools, and we've taken a new attitude. I think that was partially lost with the World School for Festival, is to invite the top schools in the world, not combined teams or international teams. How do you feel about that? Is that part of what you had in mind? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, once again, um, when I was at Boys High, we toured New Zealand in 2017 and there was always friendly banter after every game there about who is really the best schoolboy rugby teams in the world. You know, is it South Africa, as everybody says, or is it the New Zealand teams or is it a team from the Northern Hemisphere? And um, that's what just created so much more excitement for me in 2018, having the World Schools at Paul Boys High was that we knew the best teams would arrive there, and that was certainly the dream of this of this festival: is having the best schoolboy rugby on show, and having um, the bragging rights, and having a lemonade afterwards together, and sharing the fundamentals and important parts of schoolboy rugby. And, and that's what that festival should have always been about. You are supposed to go back to the pole sooner or later, um, visiting or going moving back there. How are you going to defend yourself by helping to organize the best schoolboy tour international tournament up to date? Yeah, I think um, 
the guys in Paul and everybody that loves rugby is are purists, schoolboy rugby purists, and I think for them it'll always just be about getting the show on the road and and having the opportunity to come and watch schoolboy rugby. So I, I can't see anybody being angry about hearing that the that that the the schools festival is going strong, and that there's going to be some exciting rugby coming up. Well, yeah, I think if there was one guy that's really important in the success of the tournament with his knowledge. Uh, having organized it before is Mr. Erasmus. Sean, thank you so much for your willingness. Um, like you said, you were always part of Schoolboy Rugby, and yeah, well, thank you for what you're going to do for us. Thank you very much, Carl, and I'm excited. Can't wait. <laughs>